This is Iowa's News Now Sports with Owen Sebring. This regular season has been one for the Kennedy history books. Number one in the state at 20 and 0. This is the first time ever the Cougars have finished a regular season with an unblemished record, but that all means nothing without a deep run in the postseason. The Cougars start their run to state tonight at home against Davenport West. Never much question about the direction this game was headed. Colby Dolphins jersey number speaking the theme of this game into existence. Cougars lead 37 18 midway through the second. Kinsey Reed, he's the Cougs all time assist leader, a sizzler through traffic to Micah Schlock. Here I am, Schlock me like a hurricane. Great court vision from Reed, future Upper Iowa Peacock. Got more coming from Dolphin in the second half, shooting the ball with Porpoise. The school's career three point leader puts Kennedy ahead 53 31 in the third. Guy from the car survey sketch, and I think he should leave. He loves it. Reed. Not afraid to yank it in transition. Been watching some Clark game film. Got logo range in him. Kennedy made 18 three pointers tonight, which is a program record. Reed had 10 points. Dolphin had 21. Schlock with a double double, 15 points and 11 boards. A 51 point win to open the postseason. 21 0 record for Kennedy, who's a win away from a top seed at the 4A state tournament. They'll take on North Scott in next Tuesday's sub state finals, with the winner punching that ticket to the well. Linmar goes on the road tonight for the Substate Semis, trying to upset number five Indianola. This one would be a shocker around the state. Owen Olmstead to Ian Bettis, the senior tandem, putting the Lions ahead 11-5. This game being played in the Chris Street Gym at Indianola. Drew Kingery trying to lead the comeback with the and one, but Linmar was cruising in the first half. Jackson Severson, he gets a loose ball steal and takes it the other way for the layup finish. Linmar leads 18-8 late in the first. What a night to be a Lions fan. This team had a record of 8 and 13 at the end of the regular season. They squeak out a one point win against the fifth ranked team in Iowa. The Lions are one win away from the state tournament. They'll now have to go back on the road to face Ames in the sub state final. All 4A on the floor tonight. Dubuque Senior wins by 40. They'll play Pleasant Valley for the right to go to state. Cedar Falls gets out of a jam against Dowling and will go on the road against Ankeny Centennial next Tuesday. And Waterloo West erases a halftime deficit against Wash to move within a game of state. The Wahawks will meet a West Des Moines Valley team who just dismantled Waterloo East over in the Metro. And Iowa City West hangs around with Centennial but eventually loses by five to the Jags. And with the final Class 2A girls games in the books tonight, we finally have our field set for the state tournament. Fantastic! First round matchup between Dyke New Hartford and Applington Parkersburg, a pair of rival schools separated by about 20 minutes. They'll meet at Wells Fargo Arena, and Regina is back to state as a five seed playing Sibley O'Cheadon in the first round. And I'm not normally tuned into Zach Johnson news unless the JDC is approaching, but Mitch Fick, he had his eyes and ears open out there. Zach Johnson currently sitting in 10th place after the second round of the Honda Classic. Round two, he shot seven birdies and four bogeys. He finished the day at minus five which is five strokes back of Justin Sue, who's in first place. He's going to be back out there for the final two rounds tomorrow and Sunday. That's it for Sports Tonight. Nick Stewart's going to be right back with a final look of your weather.